So first off, I'd like to apologize for the lack of videos. Um, it's kind of hard for me to make them now, and uh, every once in a while I get emails from YouTube saying that someone's commented on the videos asking for the fourth one. So I'm finally making it, and um, this time I'm covering more of a, uh, a style rather than a syntax. Um, in the previous videos, I would show a uh, how the syntax related to Java or how do you do something similar in Scala. This time I'm going to actually uh, go over thinking in a functional language. So, um, obviously the name of this tutorial is Thinking Functionally. So the first thing I'd like to go over is list manipulations. So, to create a list, um, we're just going to say uh, val data equals new list and we're going to fill it with one, two, three, four, five. And um, you could use a for loop. It's, let's say we wanted to add all these numbers together. Um, in Java, you would use a for loop and in Scala, we can write a for loop using this syntax. Uh, for i uh, is zero to data dot length minus one. And then let's create a variable called uh, sum that we can store all this in. And we're going to say sum plus equals um, data at i. And um, notice that these are parentheses, not square brackets. Uh, that's a difference from Java. All right. Um, so let's just print this out. And this should yield 15. And it's, it's thinking. <laughs> All right, so uh, 15, as we expected. Now, if we want to do this in a uh, functional style, which is uh, what Scala allows us to do, um, we can write this much shorter and much cleaner. Um, and again, there, there are several ways to learn about this. Uh, uh, a great language, if you want to force yourself to learn all these concepts, is Haskell. It requires you to think in functional, uh, in functional style. Um, so I'd, I'd recommend looking into a book about Haskell or something similar if you really want to dig deep on what it means to be a functional language. All right, so we're going to use something uh, called fold or reduce left, um, and that is a, um, a a function provided to us by the list, which uh, takes two param or just just one parameter which is the method we're going to apply on all of these lists. So basically the, the idea behind a, a reduce is that, or in this case a, le a reduce left, is that we're going to start at the end and we're going to take 5 plus 4 and that's going to give us 9 and then we're going to take 9 plus 3 and that's going to give us uh, 12 and then we're going to take 12 plus 2 and that's going to give us 14 and then we're going to take 14 plus 1 and that's going to give us 15. So if we wanted to write this we could say re data dot redu reduce left and then we're going to use a an anonymous function, and the syntax for this is very straightforward. Um, basically, an underscore is kind of like a uh, an, an, a wild card almost. It's like uh, it's it's like an insertion point. Um, so imagine that there are two operands here and that the reduced left function is going to fill these in for us as we go. So what we're saying is that uh, let's say let's say this reduced left function is evaluating 4 plus 5 it's going to fill in the 4 here and it's going to fill in the 5 here for us. Um, so let's print this. Oh and we have to we have to of course assign this to sum. It should be nice if we created it. All right. And if we run this, we should get 15 again. And yeah, that's being very slow. All right, 15. Um, so that's the con that that's one of the most helpful features of list manipulations, folding and reducing. And folding is a pretty similar concept. It's applying um, a a method to all of the members in the list. And um, I just kind of wanted to go over the the style of thinking. And if you wanted to know more about folding or reducing or any of the other methods provided, there's documentation for that. Um, let's go over uh, 
loops. So in Java, uh, you might make a while loop, which uh, I think we can do in Scala, <laughs> hopefully. Um, so let's say we just want to actually let's let's do the same cases before. We have data and we want to add numbers. So instead of at writing this like a for loop, we could write it like a while loop and say have a variable here, call it var i while i is less than data dot length sum plus equals data add to i plus i plus plus i plus i plus one maybe oh okay so it's not gonna help me okay with that brackets all right that should work Second. All right. So it's taking its sweet time, and we got 15. So that's using a while loop. Um, however, if you were in a functional language like Haskell, you wouldn't be provided the facilities of a while loop or a for loop. In a functional language, instead of looping, we do recursion. And uh, tail recursion is just as efficient as uh, looping in, in a good compiler, so we probably won't have any problems with efficiency. The recursion usually implies. Um, so let's just make a simple glorified loop. Um, let's say def add list. And this is going to take a, a list as its parameter. We'll call data again, or let's, call, let's just call it list list, alright, and it's going to return to us an int, which will be the um, the sum. And we can write this by saying, or I'll just, I'll just since we're, since, since the last re, uh, tutorial covered return values, um, we can go ahead and write it like this and say um, list dot head plus oh sorry I'm kind of rusty on my scala just ignore that uh, it, it requires a type and this is a list of integers um, all right, so let's recursively invoke this add list, um, and we'll just say list dot tail. All right, let's make this a little bit bigger. All right, so basically what this is saying is that uh, we're going to take the head of the list, which in this case is one, and add it to the add it to whatever add list returns with the tail, which is two, three, four, five, and Add list is called again, and the new head is two, and then three, four, five is the tail, and it keeps on going and keeps on going until uh, tail is nothing. And in this case, we'll just say, actually, let's write it like this: if um, if list is empty. Then we just want to return a zero. So what we're saying is that eventually this tail is going to run out, and um, if it's empty, we're going to return zero, and that won't affect the addition. And we're not calling it, which would help. <laughs> All right. So add list um, data. Alright, so 15. Let's change up these numbers because I'm tired of looking at the number 15. Alright. Um, 
So that's, that's how you would do a loop in a functional language. You do a tail recursion, which is pretty much a glorified loop. And uh, the, Scala, I, the Scala compiler should um, unwind this loop and turn it into, uh, unwind the, the function and turn it into a loop anyway. But it's just, it's just for functional style. All right. So uh, that's recursion.